Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to yet another great episode of Bahrain Now, your source of local initiatives, happenings, talents, and trends. I'm your host, Bara Abdullah, here to walk you through our exciting lineup of segments and personalities from around Bahrain. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, for a coffee talk with Desberta Cafe is a Bahraini project importing special coffee products from the country of Vietnam to our beloved kingdom of Bahrain. To tell us more about it is the founder herself, Naima Abdallah. Good evening, how are you? Good evening to you. I am good. And what about you? I'm okay. I'm excited. <laughs> and I see coffee. You know, every time we have a talk here on TV, yes. we're missing on some really good coffee. So what we have here? I think today you will not miss it at all. Oh, great. And even the smell, you will remember this conversation or interview forever. Then let's have some coffee, <laughs> yes. shall we? The water yes. is ready. The coffee yes, is ready. Yes, for sure. Yes, for sure. So, okay, look at, I love the presentation. I love the presentation. Look at that. I mean, the coffee bag is hanging on the sides, on the edges. And okay, I've never seen this before. Yes. And look at it dripping. Okay, all this right. This is the idea of the desperta. It is filter and it will come slowly. So you will get the taste. Okay. Everything that's unneeded and the coffee, it will remain in the bag. And you will take only the taste and the benefit from desperta. Hmm. You know, right now we have some coffee lovers behind the scenes, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I didn't mind yes. Mahmoud right now asking me something about a V60. What's? That's a good question. What is it? <laughs> we'll know <laughs> later on, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> okay, look at that. It's dripping beautifully. It will take some time. Okay, okay. But this is the way you will enjoy your coffee because you will smell it every time. You just boring the water. Normally, we just get the coffee ready, but apparently yes. yeah, you're all about the presentation, <laughs> you know. <laughs> desperta, I love the word. What does desperta mean? Desperta actually is a Spanish word. Okay. Which means wake up. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> and only with coffee, you will make your day and you will be wake up. Okay. All the day. All the day. <laughs> yes. So is it ready or should we wait now for it? Now it is ready, yes. It's ready? For sure. Ooh. Just I will remove the bag. Oh, I want the bag too with it. Oh, that's how No, without it. the bag. Without the bag, okay. Yes. Okay. And you will have only the, the coffee. Coffee. Yes. And this is the way. Okay, Naima, you just wrote history. Yes. This <laughs> is the first. Oh my God, it smells so good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is the first time ever. On yes. Bahrain now, uh, me as a host, that yes. actually have an actual talk yes, with, coffee. with coffee. Wow. I am yes. so happy yes. that you are happy with the coffee. Yes, I am. <laughs> the presentation, everything is beautiful here. So, uh, desperta means to wake up, right? Yes, a Spanish word. Yes. Amazing. But it's yes. a Vietnamese coffee. It is Vietnamese coffee. But I think it's uh, the story of behind that, I don't know. But uh, I think uh, they love Spanish also. Okay. Uh, and they use many, s same like us, we use English. Mm, mm. Some words in English. Uh, also Vietnamese, they like to use some Spanish words. Okay. And I think the, uh, the words itself, despierta, <laughs> is like a song, wake up. It's okay. nice. It use is. it. <laughs> it is. This is all I think the history behind that meme. It is a it is mean to them. It's mean to the Vietnamese people. Okay. Because they wake up in the morning and they have their coffee. And I think all the day they will be 
Awake. Awake. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They'll be desperta. Desperta. <laughs> All right. So, yes. you know, normally when we want a brand or we like to associate coffee or good coffee, it's like, oh, this coffee is from Brazil. Mm. This coffee is from Portugal. This coffee is from Colombia, from yes. Ethiopia. This coffee is from Yemen. But not a lot we get to hear people saying this yes. coffee is from Vietnam. So why this Vietnam? Is, this is very interested and uh, it's really, I like your question mm. because Vietnamese coffee is just, um, what to say about Vietnamese? Because mm. you know about Vietnamese uh, coffee. Okay. Or about... Uh, Their culture, I would say? Uh, not the culture. About the most worldwide, the okay. countries producing uh, coffee. All right. You know them? or I Honestly, will tell you about. I don't. Um, again, it's we here in Brazil, El Salvador, yes. you know, but we don't know who are the like top 10. I will tell you, if it is coming to top 10, Vietnam is, you know, in which rank? Now that you put it that <laughs> way. I am not asking you. Okay, I would say, uh, just a lucky guess, they're on the fourth, they're like, they're ranked as fourth best coffee in the world. Uh, no. No, they're not? They're higher? No, higher. Third? No. It's not even second? They are second, That's yes. the second best coffee in the world? <laughs> the, the What's the best? Brazil, the number one. Oh, and Vietnam comes Vietnam's second? Vietnam comes second. We and don't they know this. <laughs> Why don't we know now this? It's a conspiracy. And now you can to know. How did you know about this? Sure, I have Vietnamese coffee. <laughs> How are you? What kind of a question is that? <laughs> Sure. But it's interesting that you actually came across the Vietnamese coffee yes. and you made something out of actually, it as a project. Actually, the story started, as I said before, it started not because I don't know Vietnamese coffee, but I am a coffee lover. Mm. I plus addicted also to coffee. And I'm always searching, uh, trying a new coffee, I will go here and here and you know even I will see the way how they are uh, preparing the coffees. Mm. I will search in the internet for all type of coffees and how it is prepared and the uh, secret behind this one because you know we raise up in families that right. love coffee and <laughs> okay. daily our the coffee should be there like after from sweet Arabic, Gahua, uh, Gahua all and the way yes. to your yes. Spanish stuff and I think uh, here Bahrain people are they love coffee yes we do I will complete for you my story actually after retirement uh, I was thinking what I love mm. and what is my passion I found the coffee is my passion and okay. I'm addicted to coffee. <laughs> yes, I'm and addicted uh, to coffee. <laughs> already I put my plan to start my uh, a project. I should start very slowly, but I should study the market yeah, also. Yeah, slowly and surely. Yes. Exactly. Uh, that time, I have very, very close friend. Okay. The one now she's owner for Desperta Cafe in Oman. Oh wow. She's the owner. There's another branch in Oman. Yes, in Oman, yes. Oh, you've been I branching out. <laughs> I told you, love, I, we have in Kuwait, in Oman, Saudi Arabia, and now in Bahrain. Mm -hmm. And we hope to see more branches. You're better. taking over the GCC? <laughs> yes. As a product or as a coffee shop? As a product and okay. to own my own coffee shop or even for my uh, close friend i think she liked to do that okay but i think in the future sure will be there's a plan yeah since that time uh when my my friend she she was the owner for desperta and she asked me to uh, try this coffee okay from that time I've been in love with this coffee and we discuss why not to bring this coffee to Bahrain. Okay. And we work on that and it is done. That's it. 
right? <laughs> Simple as that, you fell in love with the brand, you fell yes. in love with Vietnamese coffee. Yes. Have you ever been to Vietnam before? No. But I'm sure but you I will. Hope. The one who was uh, the owner from Kuwait, he went and he saw how they are doing this coffee factory. Right. This better. I love this, I love this. Yes. So we have different flavors. Yes, what we, do we have, have different. Actually, we have Gourmet. Okay. And we have Intenso. Ooh. And Fino, all in Spanish also. I okay, I, I think <laughs> it's my Spanish level is, yeah, not much. I will teach you, no problem. You will? Me too. <laughs> but I will teach you the meaning. Okay, Desperta to wake up. Yes. Como estas? Is hi. <laughs> yes. How are you? That's it. That's... Alhamdulillah. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we have here? We have Gourmet. Uh, I will tell you the difference. Yes. Okay. Gourmet, it is same like the worldwide. It is 100% Arabica, which mean the beans name Arabica. Okay. And it is 100%. But in, in Intenso and Fino, little bit different. And 80% uh, of Arabica plus 20% of Robusta beans. Mm. Robusta, this is what Vietnamese produce almost 95% of their coffee. Right. They, uh, it is Robusta. Robusta. For that it is a uh, little bit different uh, for the coffee mm. and Vietnamese and especially this brand to have Robusta in the coffee. Okay. They will know here in uh, any any brands you will go, you will see Arabica 100%. And Arabica is from the word Arabic? I mean, something Arabic about it or it's just? It is just a name. Just a name, but it's, it's just not really a name. Arabesque. It's not the origin is Ethiopia. And from actually, Ethiopia. Okay. From Ethiopia. Wow. Okay. Uh, it is important to know Arabica and Robusta and why they are different. Right. Robusta, when, I, when I'm telling Robusta. Because Arabica, the smooth taste, the sweeter taste, the soft taste, this is what we get used. The gourmet. It's a gourmet. But Fino and Intenso, it has the Robusta, which give different taste. And you will not have this taste in, what do you call it, in the market. You so will it's not, like you're it is you're the only person who actually yes. can produce such a taste and taste, blend of yes. coffee. Yes. Oh wow. And robusta. Yeah. Robusta and uh, it will give you fifty percent more of caffeine. Those people like caffeine. What this is, is less caffeine. So which one? I got the gourmet. <laughs> gourmet, yes. Oh, you spoiled me, didn't you? Now, <laughs> but do you want to go that heavy with me? Huh? Maybe, maybe. Baby maybe steps. later you <laughs> will have another one. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I want to <laughs> sleep tonight. <laughs> now you will sleep, inshallah. Uh, okay. That's all about our coffee. Wow, that's very and, interesting. And uh, you know the presentation yeah, I, of I our see. coffee. This is the special uh, things about it also. Uh, we have special wow. uh, hang yeah. for the cup. And we have a special filter. And uh, also the bag, it is very easy to open and you can see inside. It is okay. coated, which wow. means the coffee will remain fresh, uh, fresh, intact. Yes, and the smell will not go it. It will not expire. It expire. Will, it will, it stay will fresh remain for as yes. long as possible. Yes. I this love this. A plus, it is so easy. Okay. To to take it in your pocket. On the go, your, right? Yes. Uh, I, I, anyway. I, need, I need a box, please. Yes, yeah. you <laughs> all for you. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. You made me and everybody behind now happy. Yes. <laughs> yes, you did. I see yes. the beans as well, the leaf over there, you know, just bringing the presentation Amazing. together. Yes, all, all. You Amazing. can take. <laughs> Amazing. So with all that being said right now, what are your last words to your viewers? See, uh, I have something to tell. Because I am a coffee lover, and, uh, and I forget to tell you, and to be honest, this coffee, not because the presentation of it and how it's look, 
just what is behind Desperta, the benefit of Desperta. You can take your coffee from anywhere, but Desperta is filtered coffee, which means you are getting all the benefit of the coffee mm. and you are excluded the unneeded or uh, unuseful. Oh, substance of it, yeah, ingredients. Substance, yes. Which means it is a healthy coffee. Oh. Okay. And there is a research, researcher. I okay. will not go so complicated. You don't have to. Yeah. But I'm telling you, it will reduce the heart disease. Really? Yes, heart okay. disease, and this is good. My, my target mm. from this coffee to bring to Bahrain, maybe I want this coffee to be as a habit in our uh, culture, same what they are drinking our coffee. Right. But this one is healthier and uh, uh, when you have the benefit of the coffee, you will make your day. Yes. This is all what I, I can tell about this beta. My last words, I hope and my dreams to see this beta in every Bahraini house. Mm, amazing, amazing. <laughs> I love that. Well, Naima, thank you so You're much welcome. for being with us right here on Bahrain Now. And I guess we're going to have more coffee in a bit. Yes. Definitely. Thank you so much. Welcome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, right now we're going to have a Desperta moment right here on Bahrain Now with this interview that took place with Naima. Ladies and gentlemen, film action, let's go. Here in the studio, we have Amna Al Hawat, the owner of Imagine If Production, a video production house based in Bahrain, who will be talking to us about Imagine If. And here she is right now with her journey. Amna, how are you this evening? Good, it's great to be here. Oh, definitely. I see your camera. You're ready to take some pictures and all of that. Yes, I definitely had to take the chance to uh, snap some pics in the studio. It's looking beautiful please, here, actually. Please, please, <laughs> please, please. Do, even during the interview, you know, it's all yours. Maybe if the moment takes me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're all about the moments, aren't you? Yes. Amazing, yes. amazing. So, yes. film production. Yes. Tell us more about yourself. Um, well, Actually, I accidentally fell into film production because okay. um, I, I thought I wanted to be a news reporter. A news reporter, okay. That's right, yeah. So that's why I chose Jordan uh, as a place to study. I thought huh. it's, um, it's close to a lot of sensitive countries. Right. And um, I thought that I was going to be, you know, uh, on the field doing some action, you know, oh, wow. like a news reporter. That is very interesting. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, that never. <laughs> <laughs> you want to join? Uh, it's just uh, yeah. Cool. It never worked out like that. I um, um, because I was around cameras studying television. Um, right. My friends were like, "Oh, you're around cameras. You know cameras, right? So the, why don't you make this uh, short movie with us?" Okay. And I did. And then I did another one, and then I did another one, and then I did another no. one. And um, by that time, um, uh, His Majesty King of Jordan, right. uh, King Abdullah II, right. he, he's really interested personally in film. Okay. And so he commissioned the, the uh, Royal Film uh, Commission, the Jordanian Royal Film mm. Commission. And um, that's when um, they started to bring all these uh, Hollywood films to Jordan because it had uh, amazing locations. Wow. And that's how I got uh, my first break. So I worked in uh, on movies like Transformers with Michael Bay. What? Yeah, crazy. Really? <laughs> with all yeah. the explosions and stuff? With everything, with Shia LaBeouf, with all the... I, I got to speak to the director quite often. Can I shake your hands? <laughs> 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 and um, yeah, uh, I did Transformers, I did The Hurt Locker, I did, um, m my first break was actually The Stoning of Soraya M. Oh my God. Yeah. and. Um, when I did all these movies, although my role was, um, it wasn't that prominent, I, I did uh, get to have good experience in Hollywood films. So that's uh, where I did my first um, 
Uh, I was uh, the first assistant director on my uh, first okay. film, okay. and um, it got nominated in the Cannes Film Award. Amazing! Yeah, it's we, amazing. Well, we didn't win, so. Oh, well, you know, <laughs> nomination to a lot of people <laughs> is as winning, to be honest. You know? Yeah, I was very proud of that film. It, it's uh, with the Arab and Tarazan and Nasser, these uh, two guys, okay. um, and they're making amazing movies right now. Amazing. So. Um, you know, that also uh, propelled me into uh, the cinema scene in uh, Egypt. Okay. Uh, I did, for example, Sahbet uh, al with Isad Yunus. You know, Isad Yunus, she's wow. an amazing comedian. Wow. Yeah. And uh, after that, I did uh, um, a little bit of time in Dubai doing Majid TV. Oh, you did Majid as well? Yeah, I oh, did. Oh, you've been yeah, all over yeah, the I place. Did, I did. I did. I, I, I always wanted to tell stories. I okay. always wanted to travel the world. I wanted to, you know, to share how I view things with others. I wish others could see what I can see. Um, definitely. I mean, yeah. you do have a very interesting story to tell, that's for sure. Yeah, and that's what, that's what propelled me into um, starting my own company now here in okay. Bahrain. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so what a journey. <laughs> <laughs> what a journey, you know, all the way from Jordan to the cinema scene in Egypt with Saad Yunus and going to Dubai for Majid and now you're here starting your own, I would say, endeavor and your own adventure. So yes. now it's Imagine If, right? Yes. Very yes. interesting name. Yeah, the possibilities are endless with cinema, right? That's wow. the beauty of it. That's wow. why I called it Imagine If because anything you can imagine uh, the, the magic of cinema can bring to reality mm. and uh, that's what captivates me the most about filmmaking okay and um, that's actually what I hope to bring to to Bahrain mm. uh, this little bit of uh, spark and ideas imagination that okay. uh, that I, I w I'm really interested in in helping brands and in helping people tell their stories amazing yeah amazing yeah. Yeah. I mean for a very long time right now as well as we're seeing right now the, I would say the filmmaking scene it's not as fast or not as massive as we wish it to be here, but it's definitely picking up right now with a lot of filmmakers taking place here. I'm and all Bahrainis. amazed. I'm amazed by some of the work that my colleagues are doing. Uh, even if it's just in commercials, uh, TV commercials, right. I, I think uh, the quality of work is, uh, is, you know, it took a huge leap. And I'm, it did. I have to say, I'm so excited by the announcement of Bahrain of saying that there will be uh, a council for the arts and they'll be supporting right. the arts. Right. I'm sure everybody's super excited for that, that if you're in this field. So, right. yeah, I think, um, you know, I could talk about a lot of people that are I in the same field, like Hashim Sharaf, mm. uh, like, uh, for example, uh, um, Anas. Uh, <laughs> okay. For some reason, I forgot his <laughs> name right now. It's okay. You got the Blue Steel, you got Fakhro, you yeah. got um, Ali yeah. Fingers, uh, yeah. Wicked Productions. That's right. To name a few, actually, right? Yes, yes, yes. Um, you know, I'm, I'm very proud to be part of the scene, and I, I can't wait to bring something different to the scene. As okay, well. yeah. so can you tell us what kind of different things you want to bring to the scene, or are you going to keep it as a teaser? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, we just opened a few weeks ago. In oh, Virginia wow. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I just okay. took the sleep a few weeks ago. All right. uh, I finally decided to, to go on my own. Oh. And um, yeah, I d we, we are we're right now in Gdebiya, in, in the heart of Manama. I know, I know this isn't... I used to live there, so, oh, so no way. I used to live there for 12 years. So, so I know when you say goodbye, I don't know why even you went there. I, yeah. At some point, at least. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I have this um, love affair with Manama. Okay. Yeah. Uh, although right now I live in Harag. Mm, not far <laughs> away from Goodbye. Yes, yes, yes. I have this love affair with Manama, and I think um, that's what I want to be close to—the authenticity. Um, I want to. Uh, reflect my own culture. I want mm. to tell stories that uh, represent somebody like me even, you know, okay. who's not, is not usual. So I'm really excited to do that. Very interesting. Yeah. Very, very interesting. So now, as you opened Imagine If just a few weeks ago, so where do you want to endeavor with all of this right now? So is it just going to be filmmaking or are you going to have other services you would like to provide to Bahrain? Uh, we're basically a video production house. So if you need a vid video for your business, whether it's okay. a, a commercial video or, you know, a video for your social media, social media handling, that's what we do. Okay. But, but secretly, secretly. <laughs> secretly, I'm actually trying to liaise with um, all of the people that I think are 
that have some talent in Bahrain that are young people that are exciting right. and I'm, I'm, I'm inviting them over I'm in a two-story place right now so Ooh. so the second level is is like the um, the idea factory that I'm, I'm hoping <laughs> okay. to cultivate All right. and um, I have some things in the pipelines that I'm, I'm really excited about uh, for All example right. I just contacted um, okay. the director Gaffas and I told him I have this little script All right. so maybe I don't know let's see <laughs> can we audition <laughs> absolutely <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll be the grumpy dad <laughs> <laughs> no you hey. definitely do not look like a grumpy dad <laughs> absolutely not you gonna take a picture right now uh, maybe All right, hey. <laughs> smile <laughs> Yes. Awesome, awesome. You know what? Um, there's this one question I like to ask certain people who have a spark. And I would like to ask you the same question. I ask other photographers, movie makers of such sort. Yeah. Let's say right now somebody is calling me and saying, you know what, man? And it's just hypothetically speaking, you know? Yeah. It's not, Imagine you, know, you never know. It may happen. It may Imagine not. We don't know. Imagine if this happens. Imagine if somebody right now says, here is a blank check. Not a blank check. Here's one million Bahrain dinars to you, Amna. Yeah. What are you going to do with that? What kind of movie are you going to start doing? Oh, definitely the, the script that I called the Gafas about. That's absolutely on, on All, my top on priority. On that, that's it. Yes, yes. Dump it there. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. I actually just entered in a, um, a Netflix workshop. I, I entered to enter, like I submitted. <laughs> like they didn't choose me yet. But I'm really excited about developing it. But okay. I'm, I'm also, as I said, I'm excited also to work with... Um, with talented young Bahrainis. Right. So if you are a talented young Bahraini and you have an idea in mind, right. call me up, baby. Let's see what we're going to do with it. Amazing. Yeah, Amazing. I'm excited well, about that. Well, we're excited for you. That's for sure. That's <laughs> for sure, Amna. So any last words to your viewers? Um, I want to say if anybody here is watching that's young um, and um, they have the typical type of uh, guidance where somebody tells them hey don't go into the art you'll mm, never make it mm. you'll never make money you'll never find a job <laughs> that is wow. not true wow that is not true there are plenty of jobs for talented Bahrainis whether you're a graphic designer whether you're a photographer whether you're a filmmaker whatever mm. it might be mm. uh, if you're if you love something you're gonna be good at it right. and I promise you that the market is hungry for people who are like that so if you are a parent don't discourage your son right. from the arts and if you are somebody who really wants to do it do it I promise you'll be rewarded amazing amazing well Amna thank you so much for the inspirational talk right here on Bahrain now <laughs> super excited to see your upcoming projects Gafas and other stuff all taking place okay. it's been a pleasure definitely thank you well ladies and gentlemen endless possibilities with imagine if all that took place with a talk with Amna right here on Bahrain now. gentlemen now going all the way to Greece as we have Agora food which brings quality food products from Europe to the world of Bahrain keeping authenticity quality affordability and high food safety standards at heart they are specialized in a professional import and export of sought after and 100% authentic Greek food and beverages products mostly sourced from organic family-owned farmers private agricultural farmer unions and local producers in Greece. To tell us more about it is Georgia, a.k.a. Gigi, the customer experience manager. Well, good evening. How good are you? Good evening. Fine, thank you. How are you? I am super excited. What's the word? Uh, Tikanis? Kalaima. Uh, Kalaima. <laughs> How are you? Fine, fine. It's so fine. good to see you right here on Bahrain now. I mean, I am like when I passed by the branch in Rifa, I felt so good. The vibes, the colors, the design. It was like I was in Little Greece. I'm really happy to be here. It also. is amazing. So tell us more about Agora. Okay, Agora starts uh, eight years ago mm. as um, for internet uh, orders mm. uh, because uh, the founder and owner, Abdallah Al Noemi, 
uh, studies in Liverpool for many years mm. and there meets many Greek and Cypriot students okay. and uh, she was in love with Greece, mm. with the culture, with the people and the food also. Right. So when she came back to Bahrain, she, wa she want to eat a Greek salad, but right. no, the, the ingredients nowhere here in Bahrain. You couldn't find it. Nowhere. So comes the idea for mm. the Agora. Wow, wow. What does Agora mean? It means market. Oh, wow. Market. I love that. Yes. I love that. And I've seen Abdullah at the branch. He speaks beautiful Greek. It's like he's so fluent. Of course. And I was like, whoa, course. I'm just listening. I don't know what he's saying, but he's super smart. The way he was dealing with the customers, everybody felt at home. And he was dealing everything, even though it was super busy, but beautiful way of handling it. Always, I always, loved it. always. So tell us about your branches. How many branches do you have now? Uh, now we have uh, two branches. The first one year ago opened in Arad. And now, after one year, the second branch in uh, Rifa Al Raya Mall, mm. advanced shop with restaurant for breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner. Amazing, amazing. Very busy, right? Very busy. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Very busy. But again, <laughs> you and Abdullah, like, you're so amazing with your customer service. As we walk in, you make sure everybody gets a fair quality of a welcome. Uh, and I love that. Is the most important for me also. Amazing. To see the people, how is the hospitality in Greece, right. philoxenia. <laughs> <laughs> and I love like when I was walking in and you have the other side open, you know, and it's just a beautiful weather. So people are enjoying their time. They're having good food, good times, good talks. And you exactly. see even people coming in and out. I love the atmosphere of Agora and Rafa. It's just splendid. Thank you so much. Beside the fact that you have a kitchen, but you have products. Tell us more about your products. Uh, some of the best sellers here. <laughs> <coughs> of course. Olive oil. Yes. The gold. <laughs> the gold. <laughs> this is organic, extra virgin, cold mm. pressed. And this is the best seller, of course. This right. is from my motherland. I'm from Crete Island. Okay. The olive oil is from Crete. Wow, wow, wow. The water also from Crete. You see, under Nisi brand, this is Agora's brand. Okay, it's Agora's the most of brand. The, yes, the most of the wow. products are uh, under our brand Nisi. Mm. Some products is uh, not uh, Nisi because um, they are coming from very big uh, names companies in mm. Greece. So mm. we are proud to have them in our shop. Amazing. I love that, I love that. Any but the most of them, the honey also, natural honey, seven different kinds. Seven? Under Nisi brand. Of course, many pasta we have now, yes. many jams, sweets, the Greek coffee. Okay. Some of the best sellers and wow. many other things you can see at the shop. I mean, the first thing I took was the, the olive oil. I have yes. to go there and like, okay, that. Yeah. <laughs> the biggest yes. size, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> but even though like I tried different kind of sandwiches, they were all fresh. It is every like the, day, every it day. It just tastes so fresh, it tastes so good. Sometimes I just go in and just like, I just want to watch. <laughs> I see want to see what's going on. I see people coming in and out and everybody's smiling. Love this, it. This is a success. Beautiful. <laughs> Any future plans? Uh, many future plans. Okay. For now, we are looking for a small uh, uh, shop for bakery okay. in uh, Sar area. Okay. Uh, we have uh, the license also for uh, Saudi for Riyadh. Ooh. Of course. Ooh. And we are looking forward for all the GCC countries. Amazing, amazing. You know, when I go there, I feel like I need to learn Greek. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> nothing specifically, but I go there, I see the video, I'm like, okay, next mission, learn a little bit of Greek and then go to Greece and just give it a try. That's the amazing vibe you've been giving to me and everybody who has been passing by Agora. It's just Thanks. so beautiful. You gave us a little taste of Greece over there and then we all feel like, okay, 
we know that we want to go to Greece now yeah, because of Agora. Everybody. I love this. I love this. <laughs> everybody. We are so waiting for you. Oh, definitely. In Greece. Maybe tonight as well. I'm going to pass by. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Give myself some olive oil, you know, to treat myself a bit. So um, what would you like to tell Bahrain from your own experience over here? Very happy to be here. Very happy to be here because uh, there is the most important things for me, the sea and the sun, like my country. <laughs> The weather is amazing. Right. You feel safe always. Mm. And that I, I want to tell to, th to say thank you to the government because you feel always the safety and the sub stability for all the citizens. Mm. Something, something we don't have in Greece. Okay. Okay. And I appreciate very much. Mm. Also, mm. the people are very kind, <laughs> always so beautiful people. Oh. I like to be here. I love to be here and I'm very, I want to thank also my company and Abdallah <laughs> <laughs> yes. to give me this opportunity to have this Amazing. so new life for me. Definitely. And Bahrain loves you. Thank Definitely. You. And loves Abdallah for his beautiful initiative idea thank you and his much. passion to Greece and making Agora happen. Can you give us a little favor if you don't mind? Yeah. Can you tell us anything to Bahrain in Greek? Of course. Uh, Sagapo Bahrain. It means I love you, Bahrain. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being with us right here on Bahrain now. And we can't wait to, you know, pay a visit to Agora and next step to Greece. Waiting all of you. Definitely. Thank you very <laughs> much. Thank you very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a little talk with Gigi right here about Agora and a little taste of Greece. All that took place right here on Bahrain now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've made it to the finish line. A huge thank you and to all of our guests for joining us tonight. And a huge another thank you to all of you watching us at home. As always, be sure to reach out to us on our social media accounts shown below. We love hearing from you. This was Barab Della. Till next time, Bahrain. Goodbye and God bless.